So today I am going to talk about why Magic the Gathering kind of doesn't make any sense to carry anymore. So many of you say, oh, you know, you have heavy bags and you're blaming the wrong people. It's your own fault. And yeah, it is my own fault. But the, you know, the idea that you can buy boxes for $89, hold them for five years, have them double in price is nonsense. Um, the boxes I have are actually premier boxes were the Sparks Dominaria. And when you talk about unpremier boxes, Neon Dynasty was uh, a draft box of $74 just today. So if you check on Amazon and you just randomly check during periods in time, you check the deal spot, so you go into Magic, so you just search any product, click Magic the Gathering store. They have a official store on Amazon. Sometimes they tweet about it and this is how I find out. Uh, you can actually see that they are sending Neon Dynasty right now. I don't know why they're doing. Maybe they're just trying to get the. I mean, they're trying to get the rest of the inventory out, which would make sense. But yeah, Neon Dynasty, which is I think a very beautiful set, is that's not investable. You can't buy at eighty nine and when Amazon's at seventy two, and then if you want to wait them out, you're waiting out Amazon. So the boxes that I have shown aren't even the worst boxes, guys. The worst boxes are Crimson Vow, Midnight. Uh, Hunt, um, Baldur's Gate, which uh, Rudy Chan loves so much, right? There are boxes, the more recent boxes in the more uh, four or five years, that you could not sell if your life depended on it for $89 to break even. That doesn't include your time, that doesn't include shipping, and then that doesn't include the Patreon fee, which can be up to $100 a month for Rudy. So the idea that a store can just hold a bunch of Neon Dynasty that didn't sell because no one wanted it. Uh, Baldur's Gate, again, Baldur's Gate was an epic disaster. I mean, it, it parallels Dragon Maze. One day you woke up, everything was going good, robbing the car, gate crap, and wait, what's this new yellow set? And why does no one want to buy it? Um, that, that was Baldur's Gate. Um, people were very excited. They're like, oh, wow, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, it was like, wait, this set kind of sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, it sucks. Um, where should I begin with, um, and I mean, just, okay, so those are sealed products. Singles, uh, fetch lands are under $10 now. Wild. Um, I never thought I would see the day enemy fetch would be under $10, you know, near mint. Although, again, again, damage I can get at that, right? Ooh, uh, and then really comes down to like, if you have $100,000, why would you put in magic when there's so much belly? Uh, let me take Pokemon, for instance. I have had a Pokemon store for a long time. There are times where I felt like, oh my gosh, this is awful. <laughs> that was during a period in time called Evolutions. Rudy Chan at that point quit. He doesn't actually have Evolutions. He has Generations, also a very good set. But it's not evolution good, in my opinion, right? So one day I woke up and all my evolutions online were sold. And I was like, wow, what type of idiot would buy for $120 a box? And this is what I'm thinking. I would list them eight boxes at a time. And it was this dude in, um, it was du this dude in uh, London, the UK. And I was like, man, no, we don't do international shipping. So I emailed him and said, hey, dude, like, we don't do international shipping. Like, I can't buy, I can't sell, you know, like, and he was like, no, 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 I'll pay any amount of money. I was like, why? So then he was so desperate. To, and I did send him those boxes for the 120-ish. And then he paid, he covered shipping and even covered my time to do the shipping and the custom. There was something like weird that we had to do. I had never shipped to the internationally. And actually on the website, it said, we do not sell internationally. So I could have pulled the offer, but at the same time, it was very educational for me. So I thought, okay, why not? We were, I was getting these boxes dumped on me by my distributor for $36 a box of Evolutions. Unbroken Bonds, I have opened all of them. Like, you know, that's, a, I, 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 I tell you seriously, there was a time where I could get any amount of sleeved booster pa packs for $2.10. You know, I remember most vividly the Champion Gengar tin, which I opened like 400 of, which was dumb as hell, but. That tin I get for seven bucks and now sells for 80 on eBay sold. So literally everything that I could not sell, 10X in price, 
basically overnight. That's, that's my perspective. I woke up one day and everything on my website my, had sold out. And people were desperate to get it. They were desperate fighting and it was all, you know, blah, 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 blah. And still to this day, my website is not up with the inventory. Um, we used um, WooCommerce because like, I just, you know, don't want to sell it. Uh, Latios, for instance, Latios, Latios, the altar card with the love thing. I pulled one and I thought, oh, this kind of sucks. <laughs> I remember the first one. I, I was probably looking for um, something else. It's like a $500, $700 card now. And they were mint. I have never seen that for magic. You know, uh, for a set to 10X in magic overnight is impossible. So would I rather buy Pokemon, which has the potential to do this because I have seen it with my own eyes. I've seen my inventory go from $36 a box to $1,100 at the very, very high end. Again, I sold most of my boxes at like $400, $500. I was just happy. I, I mean, I, honest to God, like I was happy when somebody bought it at $120 because I was like, oh God, you know, somebody finally bought it. Like if you own a Pokemon store during Evolution time, you know your distributor might have effing dumped Evolutions. Evolutions must have been reprinted to the ground. And then one day you're like, wait a second, you know, I'm watching this video and people are selling it for 1100 a box. So I too went to a convention, the collector con and the Dallas con. And I wanted to know if this is true. So I took a bunch of my boxes. They sold out within like uh, 15 minutes. I think at the price, the price, the market price was probably 600. I said, hey, 500. One dude comes in, he buys all of it. And it was gone. And that was the, uh, that was the table. <laughs> the table, I mean, I, all I did was bring old boxes. We had old boxes of evolutions, we had old boxes of uh, unbroken bonds. And we still have those boxes upstairs. I opened the Unbroken Bond box chasing that Charizard. No, it's not, no, that's no. Unbroken Bond is Latio Latias. Uh, what was the one that was a Charizard? The shiny Char the, which I have. I pulled it actually. Whatever that is, I have a lot of those tins, those Marsh Stomp tins that I got from Best Buy and Sale on a website for like ten dollars. I was like, oh, that's a pretty good deal. And then GameStop used to have these buy one, get one free packs. Like you would used to go to GameStop every Thanksgiving, every New Year's, and you could buy one item. Then you get another item of equal value for free for Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic Packs. They don't do that no more, right? But I, that's where I got a lot of my just random shit that is now super valuable. Shining Legends. I remember I picked up a lot of Shining Legends from these GameStops. And they were super happy. They're, no, no, take it. Take it, take it. I was like, all right, thank you. <laughs> so like people don't understand that I have an investment that, that that's very similar to magic that has skyrocketed. And then I look at my magic investment, all has done is go down. My Pokemon investment literally has gone from $36 a box. I have 20 cases of this product. 19 or uh, I sold 18 of them. I opened the rest because I was being dumb, right? So again, I did open a lot. The one big regret was I opened all those Gengar tins that was like really stupid. Like it was so stupid. I like now in hindsight, I'm like, oh my God, that was dumb. Um, yeah, that was really dumb. So I kept those tins sealed. There was no reason to open them. Cause they still like when you open them it doesn't help you in storage you're just still like you still have an empty tin so you store it so, like there was no reason to open them like they were actually better sealed in ter terms of storage right then they were open all right back to the store yeah i know what it's like for things to go up everyone thinks oh you're just a sore loser no i have something compared to it's pokemon if you own a pokemon store before the covid all that shitty product that you had, Shining Legends didn't sell. Dragon, Dragon Majesty, you know how much a effing Dragon Majesty ETB goes for now? I think it's like $300. My Lord, you could not sell that set to save your life. I don't know what is in that set that people want, but I don't, I remember like Dragon Majesty and opening a bunch of it and there was nothing in it. I'm trying to remember like what could possibly be, so obviously it's a Dragon set. I know they have Dragon Knight in the set. 
I, I just don't know what's in Dragon Majesty. Maybe a Rayquaza of some type? But yeah, I'm sitting on all these Shining Legends, boost uh, ETBs. I'm sit sitting on all these Shining Legends. You see, you see all the um, Evolving Skies I have? I have twice as much of that of Shining Legends. But mother effing Shining Legends didn't sell. It's actually like kind of a kind of, a kind of bad set. I opened a lot of it. It was kind of a bad set. But uh, interestingly enough, you get the set for uh, $28 from your distributor or something like that. I think it was $28. And the whole O today sells for $28, the promo. He's just free rolling. And that's the same with the Mewtwo Shining Legend pin and stuff. It, it's so wild, right? The promo card. So this thing, this 10 Majig, I think like $15. The promo card itself sells for like 10. And the pin sells for another 5. Like, it, it's so wild to think. And I have all the promos. Like, I, I can show it to you. I have all the promo cards. I have a million different Gengar promos because me being a dumbass, I opened all the tins. But the promo itself, it's called like a Cosmic Swirl. That Gengar promo, so I bought the tin for $7.75. That promo itself, that with the Cosmic Swirl, whatever, right? Whatever they call it. Uh, the pro, it was a tin at Walmart. I think the retail was like $12.99. I, I got it for $7.75. And that tin promo sells for more than $10 sold on eBay. The tin itself sells for more than eight dollars. So in a tin, promo tin, and that's what I was doing. I was opening the things, opening packs, free rolling, and selling the tin. Now I kept some tins because it is a beautiful tin. The tin itself sold for eight dollars. The promo sells for eight dollars from just the promo and just the tin, and then you get free packs to open for free. That's why I was free rolling it. Four hundred of them. Because I broke even and even made money from just sell opening in a tin. So people tell me, oh, you don't know what it is. They're like, nah, man, I do know what, what the good times are like. I fed like crazy. So like, this is why I wouldn't put money in magic. I have never seen magic do anything remotely similar to what evolutions did or my Gengar tins or my shining fates, not, not shining fates, shining legends, my dragon majesty. I, have, I still don't know why people want Dragon Majesty. I sell them for like a hundred, like selling them for like quadruple the price that you got that their MSRPing for it doesn't make any sense. I don't know what they're trying to pull. But there are a lot of breakers and they keep asking me for the product. Anyway, hi guys.